Do you also have these moments where you learn something new and then you realize how powerful and useful it actually is and then you just wish you'd find out sooner? So this is exactly one of those situations, or at least was for me. So here's the thing, here's what I did. Let's say that I would have a website or just multiple pages prototype where there would be something like a navigation, right? Some element that upon clicking would take you to a predefined destination, which would be same for all pages. So what I would do is, let's say this is a home page, and the remaining three are the pages you can click on in the navigation menu, right? So what I would do is basically open prototype and select the first item and then connect that to the second page, right? The page it should go to, so desktop goes to desktop. Then um, I would take uh, the second item and connect that to the page it should go to, right? You're probably doing this as well. And then finally profile and then go to profile. So you would then repeat that for all these remaining pages, right? You would take the mobile on this screen and connect that to mobile and then all of them would be going to their respective pages, right? So that's what I would do when I needed to set up uh, these types of interactions. But here's the thing, this right here, this situation, it's simple, right? It is four pages. It is four pages, basically three pages and the home page. And if you wanna prototype this the way I just showed you, that's usually no problem, not really a huge time saver, but imagine just imagine that you would get 15 pages or 50 pages, right? Imagine you would get tens of pages and a menu that would have like 15, 20 menu items. Imagine you would go through each page and on each of those 20 pages, you would set up 20 connections. That's 400 connections. And then imagine you needed to make a change and then imagine you needed to make another change. It's obvious that as the complexity of your prototype increases, this becomes extremely time consuming and ineffective. Now, fortunately for you, there is a quicker way. So what you need to do is make sure that these things that you use across the, these pages multiple times, that they are actually a component, right? So let's say you will have a header component, the instance of which are going to be repeated across all these pages. And now what you simply need to do is select this menu item, go to prototype and connect that to desktop, just like this. So what we just did is we defined in this main component that whenever you get this menu item, that's going to take you to the desktop page. And just to verify that this is indeed the case, let me select the profile page. You can see the desktop goes to desktop. This page, desktop goes to desktop. And this page, desktop goes to desktop. And we haven't touched these pages, right? We just did a change right here. And then I'm gonna select the second, the second menu item, the mobile, connect that to mobile. The third one, connect that to the third one. So now as we go through these individual pages, you can see how all these connections have been established thanks to these connections right here. And you can also see that the profile page is pointing to itself. So nothing happens essentially. So now when we launch the prototype, it's actually functional, right? So desktop, mobile, profile, mobile, desktop. The only thing that's missing right now is just take this logo and connect that to the homepage. Right, and now we got a fully functional navigation bar, right? So you can definitely understand how thrilled I was when I actually found out about this feature back when I was actually learning how to use Figma. And uh, I hope this will be um, similarly impactful for you. As I said, imagine you will have so, so many pages. So I created six more instances of the header component. These are not individual pages. I just want to demonstrate how many connections we can make basically from here. So when I go to prototype and I remove this connection, then I remove this connection and finally this one and also the one from the home page from the logo. So now there is no functionality we cannot navigate in between pages. And so imagine there was a change, right? So uh, a client comes to you and says, hey, look, uh, we need this another page and we need to create a new item 
in the header navigation, right? So um, let's just say this new item, this new page will be accessed by clicking a circle in the navigation bar for some reason. So first of all, when I add a circle here, a new circle is going to appear on all these instances of all these pages, right? Remember, I just added a circle here. And then what I'm going, going to do is select this circle, go to prototype and connect this prototype to the new page, right? The another page. And now look, we had no connections whatsoever anywhere and we just defined one interaction right here and we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we defined 10 interactions with one click basically. And then let's say your client changes your mind and they want the circle to point to homepage actually. No problem, you just change that here and then all of these changes are replicated across all of these, all of these instances of these menu items of these uh, navigation bars, right? So the more pages you have, the more time it saves. So yeah, definitely a huge time saver. Leave a like if this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.